We all know the house elves serve wizards and witches and are usually found under the employment of all wizardly families and must do everything that their masters say unless they are freed. But what's unknown and hard to figure is how house elves would breed or reproduce and also how parenting works with house elves. All house elves have their own brand of powerful magic, which allows them to perform tasks such as apparating, which some wizards and witches cannot. Their magic is limited by the lack of a wand. However, unlike some other magical beings, the house elf is actually quite happy not to own a wand. I got the impression that they live an incredibly long time. It is possible the house elves have an average life of 200 years. They cannot be ordered to kill themselves, and they breed infrequently and only with their master's permission. A Weasley family can have the same house elf for generations. So however reproduction happened, house elves seem to have their own time and ability. They separate into their elf home and able to return instantly, in which they can have families. Creature mentioned that his mother is one of the heads on the walls. Just as Dobby found the time to harass Harry Potter, I imagine Creature's mother found the time to hook up with another house elf, even if only very briefly. It's possible they get the urge to procreate once late in their lives in order to replace themselves when they die, thus ensuring their family continues to be served. They are probably house elf breeders that exist for this purpose. I know it is not really considered canon. But in diagonally, there is a shop front that you cannot enter that says House Elf Placement Agency. Maybe there is such place for this purpose. And it makes more sense once you consider the House Elves in Hogwarts kitchens are bought by Helga Hufflepuff to work in the Hogwarts kitchens as a way of ensuring they could work and not be abused. And they kept serving Hogwarts till the end, especially the better of Hogwarts when they fought with knives and cleavers against the Death Eaters. House elves are incredibly expensive, since Lucius Malfoy seemed very upset when he lost Dobby, and he never to our knowledge got a new house elf despite his incredible wealth. It's possible that families with house elves make their elves reproduce, or simply command them to produce a new house elf. Winky states in Goblet of Fire that her mother and grandmother served the crouch before her, and Grimald plays the heads of the house elves on the wall all share the same nose as creature. So I can assume the house elf started serving big and old wizardly families 100 years ago. But once the house elf come to an end, due to reaching their age limit, the owners give the house elf the permission to reproduce another house elf or more, either with a female that they have in their house, or they ask him to operate somewhere else such as place for this purpose, so they can have another house elf or more to continue serving the family. Or maybe they can buy him from an old owner with a very expensive price. So Dobby's parents were probably serving the Malfoy family years ago, and he was born in the house to continue serving this family. And I think that's the only logical answer for this, but it's still just a theory and it's not confirmed.